Hey guys, what is up? Eric Hill here, one half of the Hill Twins. And today I'm here to bring you a very special deck profile. Uh, yeah, so today we got our green Pilaf Wish Leader, uh, which ultimately turns into Tiny Warrior Sun Goku. Um, you guys have been asking for this deck for some time now. And um, I know a lot of people did their own special takes on this deck, especially with the holiday box. And um, it kind of just brought rise to this whole green peel off, like, you know. Um, it's not Shinron, it's not Storm, but it's fun. And I think that's what the game is all about, having fun. Um, so I have my take on this, and I actually test played this deck for some time on our Ultra Pro series, uh, brought to you by our sponsors over at Ultra Pro. Um, I definitely played this deck. I got a few W's and I went to locals with it and I got a few W's, of course. Um, and, uh, I gotta tell you, beyond anything, I enjoyed myself and had a lot of fun. It's so good playing a different leader and trying to make it work with the battle cards that you play it with. Um, because it just invites more skill. And once you start getting your, your thing on, once you start getting it going, it's like it's hella fun. It's crazy. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it and tell you guys what the leader card does, and then we'll go right into the deck profile. Um, so, leader front, peel off. Auto, once per turn, when one of your battle cards attacks, it gains 5k power for the duration of that battle. Then choose up to one Dragon Ball, well, choose, yeah, choose up to one Dragon Ball card from your deck or life and add that to your hand then shuffle any areas that you look through now uh this is you know it's not shinron but we've i found a way to kind of make him work um so you it does it is dependent on the battle card you do have to attack so that means you have to deal damage but um the fun part about it is um we have a cool little thing in here i'll show you guys a little bit later on um, but you get to search for that one Dragon Ball, and then you get to activate it, and, uh, you know, that's that, right? Now, when there are seven Dragon Balls in your drop area, choose up to one desired card from your drop area and add it to your hand. So he's going to have that regular, non-Shinron, generic leader type. I mean, well, Shinron has that as well, but he's going to be a non-Shinron, generic, wish leader type leader. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so he awakens, and he gets that desired card from your drop to your hand. That's really good. Um, so, without further ado, let's look at the deck. Boom. All right. So guys, as you guys can see, this is our deck and this is going to be a green, blue deck. Now, <coughs> one of the cool things about this is that we're utilizing blue so we can have some rampant energy manipulation especially as it pertains to this deck, because uh, you kind of want to do more. You have to work a little harder, uh, especially with these other leaders. Um, you know, they're fun, but you got to work a little bit harder to get the Dragon Balls, a little bit harder to, you know, do the things that you kind of want to do early on. So, um, so Tiny Warrior Goku is going to have that generic uh, wish leader, awa awa uh, uh, awakened wish leader effect where, it, you know, once per turn, you can choose one, which is draw a card. Then you can choose one green or black desire card from your uh, drop, I mean from your hand, and play it. Uh, then you can remove seven Dragon Balls from your drop area. If you do, choose up to one card from your opponent's uh, hand and battle, place them in the drop area. And then this card gets 15k for the duration of the turn. So that's that, you know? Um, <clears throat> Let's jump right into the actual deck profile. Um, so, we're playing um, three Awakening Talent Pan, right? Now, this is what I was talking about. The Pan is actually really good in this particular build because Plan has a unique effect where she's able to flu herself. <laughs> so, she's gonna be able to flu herself, and that's gonna be really good because that makes her the perfect battle card for this peel off deck. Furthermore, she can actually take a life and she gains 10k duration for the power of the turn, excluding the fact that peel off gives her 5k. So if you want to hit pretty big, she can be a 20k off rip. 
but we kind of want to chill out a little bit and how we're going to do it is we're going to drop our turn one we're going to swing we're not going to use our effects because we want to preserve our life we want to preserve our life as much as possible because um we want to preserve our life as much as possible like we have cards like at all cost vegeta and then again our opponent can try to run into us as fast as possible even though we because we are a slower awakening wish leader deck so um He's going to give her 5k. She's going to become a 10k. She can automatically smash straight into the leader front. And I also get to search a Dragon Ball. So that's kind of the technique with her. We don't want to start using her effect until later on in the game where we awaken and we can actually take life, gain more resources, and she can actually be a 15k over it. So um, that's the good part about it. Um, next, guys, we play three at all cost Vegeta. Again, I'm talking about the life preservations. He's by far one of the best blue battle cards, in my opinion. Um, so he's a four drop, two blue. When he's put in play, you untap one energy and you draw a card. So that alone puts him very, 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 very uh, over. He puts him over the top. He's very, very good. Uh, puts him in a much different category because of the fact that he does that. But furthermore, he has 20k attack. And then his activate main is what puts him over the top. He's able to choose two cards, two, from your life. Add them to your hand. Once you do that, he gains 3k for each energy that you have. So he gets a power boost. Furthermore, if you have five more energy, he KOs one of your opponent's battle cards on this side of the field. And this card gains triple attack. I mean, triple strike. Sorry, guys. Triple strike for the duration of the turn. Insane. One of the most utilized cards in the game at the moment. Really, really, really good. Um... You know, not much more to say about him. He's just really one of the best battle cards. And and he does allow Triple Strike to be done as early as turn three in his deck. So, no, it's turn three. Turn, turn, turn three, turn four. So, uh, moving forward, guys, you play Ultimate Fusion Gogeta. This is just more removal. He's just a really big battle card. Again, guys, the leader card not being, um, you know, the best. So, you know, we're going to utilize this powerful battle cards that's able to just do so much. He's going to draw a card and dump, draw two cards and drop two of your opponent's battle cards to the bottom of their deck. Just really good. Um, and then he can be world peace then. That's very, very, very important because you can actually world peace him in. And that way you don't actually pay the energy. Um, moving forward, guys, we have... Four of our 10Ks, Defensive Stance, SS, Vegeta. This card is just going to be our green 10K. Um, really good. Super combo. Um, you know, when your life is at uh, four... Give me a second, guys. Yeah. So, Sparkling 5. Um, when you have five of cards and you discard power, you can use him. You draw a card and you get his automatic zero cost 10k combo for that uh, battle, which is really good. He is one of the new zero drop, the zero combo cost 10k cards. It's really, really, really good. But we utilize him more because we're not an awakened leader that requires life. We require Dragon Balls. So we can actually start utilizing this card as soon as we have five cards in drop, which is very, very, very important. And we don't play any overall early on until we get to our later turns so really very good card um next we got spirit of search pan and spirit of search trunks spirit of search pan is just in my opinion i like her i really do she's a uh, body on board she can attack 10k face into the leader and then she can kind of like ko herself to search out for the spirit of search trunks which when he's put in play if you got five or more life Search for two Dragon Balls, put them in a discard pile. So he's going to be a Dragon Ball filter of the deck. And then when your life is at four or less, you can activate his main and he gets back some desire cards, which uh, you'll, we'll talk about later on. Um, so really good combo. Essentially like paying five of him because you get to search out for him. So really good in my opinion. Um, next, guys, we're going to move over to Kami's Power Piccolo. Um... He's just a really good green battle card. Uh, he's KO. He has barriers, so he can sit on the board. Um, stationary with like something like Shinron or something. You just pop every turn. So much kill in the format. Uh, we got to be aware of, but he can't be killed. Uh, unless I have four cards and they copy me. 
But um, otherwise, he's going to sit there just being a nuisance to the opponent. So I really, really like him. There are, if there, you know, there's some changes that I can actually make to the deck. This was the deck, the original build that I used on stream. If I decide to change it up, um, I'll let you guys know about the changes in the description below. Um, <coughs> but he is just a battle card that once you drop him, you start gaining value from him, you know. So that's that. He can be well pieced in, which is really good. And um, yeah. Uh, next, guys, we have our three twin onslaught SS Force and Goku. This was the reason for the actual deck. This card is absolutely bananas. I love this card. He has double strike, deflect, and then uh, auto. He has spark and five when he's put in play. You top five cards of the deck to the graveyard, send them to the graveyard, and then you activate this effect where you KO all of your opponent's battle cards on the field, and he gains dual attack. Furthermore, any cards that has a barrier has their effects wiped for the duration of the turn. So now, if there's any deadly defenders or Vegitos or anybody there, you just wipe their barrier and you wipe their actual effects so you can swing dual attack face double strike into the leader, 25k. Otherwise, you can probably world peace another one of him or world peace an ultimate uh, fusion Vegeta or somebody to just get rid of the barrier cards, which are really good. So that's one of the cool combos we can do in this deck. Um, yeah, he's just really good. And you know, if there was another green leader, uh, which leader that would be super amazing, but this is the only leader that we have right now to utilize this card So we got to work with what we got um, <clears throat> Next guys we play two Shinron figure of majesty. He's just really good I think you should be playing two of him in every deck besides storm But I would definitely be playing two of him in every deck um, He can bring back the trunks the pan our 10 K's and if anything he untaps energy or give crits and you also draw on the card with its effect so you really don't go nag. It's just really good. He's a really good battle card. Uh, next, guys, for our last battle cards, we played Beyond Darkness Demigra. Not much to explain about him besides him being the best overall card in the game. I mean, <laughs> you know, in these wish decks, of course. Um, if you were to play overall in any of these wish decks, you would play Darkness, uh, Beyond Darkness Demigra. This guy is absolutely amazing. Um, you're not going to really utilize Pilafs. I mean, Tiny Warriors, Sun Goku's. Uh, a remove seven card effect, seven Dragon Ball effects. So, turn five, turn six, you drop into him, and now you have this amazing battle card that off rip, even if he's negated or killed or KO'd, you rip the cards out of the opponent's hand for battle cards. Super busted. He is absolutely amazing. This is ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> so, we utilize our Dragon Balls and our discard pile specifically for him, which is really good. Um, you're not going to use the remove seven Dragon Balls unless the all the conditions are met. Unless the game is saying, you know what, you can do this and you can win. Otherwise, we're not going to unawaken ourselves. Next, we play for our utilities, four central beams. It's all element without blue. It untaps. It's defensive. What more can you ask for a card like that? You know, what more can you ask for? Next, guys, we got our Tomb of Fubers. This is for any decks that have, does these little shenanigans. Requires specifically on battle cards, Janimbas, or any other... Um, triple attack battle cards that we're afraid of or any battle card in general uh we just want to get rid of those asap um <clears throat> next three objections on element we want to ramp as much as possible as fast as we can in this deck because we can hit our old cost vegeta early on we can do a bunch of uh, things with him um and our shinrons and stuff so you just want to make sure that you're ramping at least use one to two in the game at, you know as soon as possible uh, next our four negates shocking death balls um, this card is just good in general. It's in the gate and it kills a two drop or less battle card. Anything that kills a, a battle card for free on your opponent's battle on your opponent's side of the field is absolutely amazing. And this is what this card does. You can spark and five it, take a card from your life, KO a battle card, and just get rid of problematic cards, Yajirobis, or anything that's on the field without barrier that you just don't want there, you know. Um, and it's you know for one energy, it's just really good. Uh, next, we have our Essentials, which are our seven Dragon Balls, which is needed for the deck in order to awaken. We have our two Challenge Wish, and lastly, three Walls Peace. We play five of these Desire cards because our Trunks can actually loop these things once we get to four life or less. And then we have various ways of putting in play Trunks via Shinron, Challenge Wish, World Peace, or what have you. Even Spirit of Search Trunk, um, Pan. She can also search off him if he's in the deck, if another copy's in the deck, you put him in play <clears throat> and start the loop going. 
So uh, really, really, really good. Um, again, guys, this is more of a fun deck. I've had a lot of fun playing it. I still have success because of the battle cards that I do play. I think blue and green have some of the most powerful battle cards in the game. And combined together, they do a lot of things. Um, there are some changes that I could potentially make now that I'm looking at it. But, um, you know, this is the deck that I've been using on stream. And I had some success for it, with it. And it's really, really, really fun. So um, that's the deck profile, guys. I hope you like it. Just a heads up, guys. If you're not subscribed to our channel, make sure you are subscribed. We're going to be going crazy with the content. We're posting every day on uh, Patreon. I mean, between Patreon, Facebook, YouTube, um, just all these different platforms. Guys, make sure you are part of the Hill Fam gang. We are lit. Some of the most lit YouTubers on the YouTube for Dragon Ball Super. Very personal people. Make sure that you are following us. We have a lot of good information. And it's two of us, guys. Twice the information. Twice the litness. Twice the fun. Really want you guys to hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you are notified when our videos go live because you will have access directly to what we are saying and what we're talking about and what we post the moment that it comes out. Uh, so yeah, make sure that you guys do that, guys, for sure. Uh, another thing, guys, um, <clears throat> like I said, we do have a Patreon. I have that up here. That's going to be in the link to, in the description below. If you guys want to support us, uh, please do. We can use all the support that we can get here is our patreon as you guys can see we are creating dragon ball super card game video content written content and just content in general um here are some of our tiers we have a young saiyan tier this is just one dollar tier um one dollar pretty much gives you access to everything on the channel besides um our main decks and a few a few other things that's you know not too much to be worried about unless you really have the money to afford it um, but yeah, one dollar tier is just going to support us in general with your fans and friends of ours. Otherwise, if you want access to the content on the page, that's going to get you that. Next, we got our Fusion Dance, uh, which is our five dollar tier. You get access to just about it. You get access to everything on the page, and you get one on one um, um, deck analysis and deck construction. You send us a deck list, and uh, we'll fix it up. We'll tell you what we think about it. Um, and pretty good with that besides Patreon anyways. If people hit us up, we do it anyways. But, you know, this is just to help us, you know, grow and support, get to more events, you know, um, get some better equipment, you know. Um, yeah. And next, guys, we got our Fusion Hall tier. Fusion Hall. Uh, once a month, access to one-on-one -on -one deck analysis. I mean, we say once a month, but realistically, guys, if you're hitting us up and you want to talk about a deck or whatever, you're pretty good at helping out in general. So, um that's that you'll be listed as an honorary hill fan you get shout outs um <clears throat> competitive uh, meta analysis understanding with the written content so if you guys want to know what the meta is or what we're going to do we're going to uh, provide that information and how to play videos in depth how to play if you got a deck that you want us to how to play send us in we would uh specifically help you out with that lastly and this tier is pretty pretty expensive for the most part this is our height tint evolution hill twin tier this tier is a $50 tier. Uh, we have one Patreon so far. I thank you so much, Tay, for supporting us in this tier. This is the final tier. Supporting this tier will give you advances and exclusiveness to just about everything on this page and just us in general. So, I mean, a person getting this tier, you guys are going to get our phone numbers. You're going to get all our social media. You're going to get everything. You guys are going to have a nonstop communication with us all times of the day and night. It's not going to be an issue at all. We're going to do our very best to get back to you guys, help you guys practice, train, um, and, you know, fix your decks, give you access to our main decks. This is very, very, very important because the decks that we are going to be using at these high-level events, we're going to give you access to it, mainboard and sideboard. If you notice, guys, we don't really put too much sideboards up there. So this deck, the, I mean, this tier is going to get you access to sideboards um, that we would use <clears throat> to just about all these decks. Um, if you made any revamps or revisions to the decks, you'll get access to that you know in general um and like i said guys even though this tier is pretty expensive the 50 dollars is definitely worth it all this money is going towards helping us to um get some shirts made for you guys some gear hill twin hats so we can kind of do giveaways on our patreon and our um you know our patreon and everything like that um yeah so supporting this tier guys you're gonna have access to these things it's gonna be absolutely amazing guys trust me trust me um skype calls all types of uh, uh, um 
FaceTimes, whatever, whatever it is, you are officially a Hill Twin with this uh, brand, with this tier, you know. And I understand it's going to be tough for people to actually uh, get it, you know, but it's okay. Nonetheless, any type of tier that you pick, still support us, whether it's the dollar, five dollars, or what have you. Um, so that's our Patreon. I wanted to get it out to you guys. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah. So guys, this is the actual deck profile. Hope you guys like it. Leave in the comment section below any additions that you would like to see in the deck or that you would change. Any suggestions or what have you. Let us know what you think about it, guys. <clears throat> Again, this is a very fun deck. It's not really meant to go take to a tournament and expect it to be super, super competitive. Because the leader itself doesn't have that capability. But it's very fun to play with. I'll be honest with you. I have to be honest with you. I've enjoyed it. I still have it built. So we'll probably go live and do uh, some more some more games with this um, on our Ultra Pro Sessions. Uh, lastly, a few shout-outs. Shout-outs to our uh, Patreon uh, supporters. Um, thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate you. Muteki, um, Tay, and uh, <clears throat> all of our Patreon supporters. We really appreciate you guys so much. They will be in the description below. They are honorary Hill fans. Um, shout out to our sponsors over at Ultra Pro. Thank you guys so much for supporting us and deciding to partner with the Hill Twins. Um, we're going to keep doing our very best to deliver the best, most impactful content and um, just content in general. And shout out to our team on uh, KTM, Kitchen Table Matter, Dusty O'Brien, our team owner. Thank you so much for allowing us to be on the team. And like always, guys, that's it. We are out, Hill Twins. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Like always, guys, stay super toe